Hey, everything in this video was found on a public domain. The full disclaimer is down below. Welcome to the Danger Zone. It's Ashley. I wish you lots of love and many blessings your way. You guys, I'm in the hospital, so if you hear any of the beeps, it is not my fire alarms. It is the hospital, IV bags and such. We have something major to talk about regarding this hospital stay. So did everybody get to see Ellen and Megan on the show where Megan was deliberately embarrassed and humiliated, almost like a hazing situation? It was very, very bizarre. We need to talk about that really fast. Hazing is an activity expected on someone in joining or participating in a group that humiliates, degrades, abuses, or endangers them regardless of a person's willingness to participate. She was clearly hazed. And you know, to this day, humiliation remains a common form of punishment, abuse, and oppression. Conversely, the dread of humiliation is a strong deterrent against crime. And history has devised many forms of humiliating mob punishments. Wow. Well, it did feel like she was being punished by Ellen, did it not? Ellen herself has recently been blasted put out there that she is so abusive. Not only is she abusive to her staff, she's abusive to her family, her friends, and her guests. I've even read articles where they compare her to a sadist, that she gets off on the meaner she is to people. The more degrading she becomes towards people, the better she feels about herself. Do you remember when she was acting cuckoo, calling up Chrissy Teigen, talking about she needed kids, she wanted kids, and then she was calling uh, for Tom Hanks and putting Run Forest on her sweatshirt and then putting that stupid volleyball Mr. Wilson on her shirt. She acted like she had really lost her mind. I think these people are up into their neck with some bad stuff, and they don't know how to handle it when it goes awry. This entire situation between Ellen and Megan proves that this is bigger than a clique. This is bigger than a sorority. This is something much deeper, much, much darker. And uh, the only reason I would ever think Megan would bel belittle herself the way that she has with Ellen would be for clout or money. And we know money wasn't exchanged. So there's some sort of clout she got from this. But listen to what Ellen made her do, and she went through with it. She made Megan go up to a vendor and say, Mommy wants some heat. My boo loves hot sauce. And in front of it, God and everybody, she takes a baby bottle out of her purse, and she starts drinking from it as she dances Mew Mew Kitten songs. And she dances to the hot, hot, hot in front of a stunned street vendor for toe curling on the street prank with Ellen. Since when would Megan ever do some stupid stuff like that, ever? Ellen made her put an earpiece in her ear and was giving her instructions on what to do to these vendors, how to act, how to react, how to carry on. Nothing but total embarrassment, humiliation. Could you imagine Catherine doing something so ridiculous? Never. And now it's being said it was enough to flatten any sort of political career that she may even think about having in the future. Nobody wants anything to do with her, especially now. If she'll go this low for a prank on television, on daytime TV, what would she be willing to do for the real deal if somebody slid her a few bucks or really upped her, you know, with her clout status? What would she do then? And sadly for her, Nobody wants to take the chance. They don't want to find out. Just like that cold calling. Once she got that list of the GOP members and she started making all of those cold calls, these women were waking up. They don't want anything to do with her. She's absolutely shot herself in the foot. She did it to herself. She got it all about herself. And now even the woman that gave her the list of numbers is in a big old heated brawl with the rest of the women over the fact that they feel absolutely violated and trespassed against by Megan. Just like she and Harry bring in their own Netflix crew to follow them around during the veteran memorial service. It had nothing to do with the veterans. It had nothing to do with the memorial service. It had everything to do with their upcoming documentary series on Netflix. 
and trustworthy she is. About as low blow as it gets. They've used kids that don't belong to them that they've had no permission to get. They've used all kinds of homeless people. They've used animals. Now they're using veterans. What next? They did not even leave a monetary tip or a donation towards the Veteran Memorial Service. Usually, if you're going to use somebody like that, when you think a nice donation would have like been something satisfying, if you're going to take advantage of the situation anyway, why not show some hospitality? Not them. They truly expect everything handed to them, and it's just not going to be that way this time. It's now being said that the Veteran Military Service wants to go through what they, they videoed. And I think they have an absolute right to. Now that they found out that this video crew was following them around for Harry and Meghan's benefit, for their upcoming docuseries benefit, I think they have an absolute right to. Satisfy Ellen's crowd, she releases two pictures that we've already seen before. And of course, there's no detail, no face. No, nothing. Just very vague pictures. Either way, they're in trouble. The Queen has now asked for them to have their titles officially stripped. After this whole entire Ellen debacle, she wants nothing to do with them. They have absolutely broken their very last straw as far as humiliating the family. The Queen and the rest of the royals feel like this was an act of deliverance on Meghan and Harry's end just to make sure the royal family looked like idiots. I would love to know your thoughts and opinions on that entire Ellen situation and what you think of the fact that the Queen is now demanding that they return their titles. Be totally revoked. I think that's long overdue. I really do. Anyway, you guys, we have a lot to talk about in the next video. It's going to be a little more personal. I'll see you soon and we'll talk fast. Please stay safe and be blessed.